Every year around this time, we celebrate the best in filmmaking with a series of awards given to the most talented people within the film industry. During award season, there is no other award more coveted and more important than the Academy Award for Best Picture. This is the award that everyone has their eyes on, the one that everyone wants to accurately predict at their Oscars watch along. Winning Best Picture gets you into the headlines the next day, which can usually translate to more streaming views or increases in box office ticket sales. For people who don't follow film, when they see a headline, they may be more inclined to try something new and watch a film that they wouldn't have chosen before, especially if it's supposed to be the quote-unquote best film of the year. But how do we choose what film is the best? And is it really always the best? As of 2022, there are approximately 9,500 Academy members who are eligible to vote for the winning films. The Academy members are split into 17 branches, each with their own specialism, including acting, sound, costume, and directing. The people within the branch vote within their own category, such as actors voting for the acting awards, directors voting for the directing awards, and so on. For these awards, the film with the most votes win. But for Best Picture, every Academy member, regardless of their branch, can vote. And instead of the film with the most votes winning, Best Picture gets decided through preferential balloting. This is where Academy members vote for Best Picture by ranking the nominated films in order of preference. Films need to get at least 50% of votes to win. After the ballots get initially tallied up, and if there is no film with at least 50% of the votes, which is usually the case, the film ranked last gets removed, and those ballots are reallocated to the voters' second choice noted on their ballot. The last ranking films continue to be reallocated until there is one film that passes the 50% threshold. Preferential balloting might seem to be the fairest way of calculating votes. What usually happens, though, is we get a best picture that is usually a well-made crowd pleaser, but not a niche film that has a very loyal fan following. Of course, that's not to say this happens every year, because Bong Joon-ho's Parasite won Best Picture for the 2019 film year. It was also the first non-English language film to win Best Picture, meaning it's not impossible to win against bigger films within the Best Picture category. There's nothing wrong with a well-made crowd pleaser, but rather, what's wrong is that they're often only second or third best, which misrepresents what best really means. Crowd pleasers aren't usually the films that keep you thinking and thinking for hours, days, and weeks after you've watched the film. They're not the films that make you feel something you can't forget. The films I'm talking about are the ones that seem to be speaking directly to you, and that have left their mark on your soul. The most memorable films are personal, and our understanding of any film is always tainted by our own personal experiences. In that sense, the best films can't be the best for everyone, because we don't all have the same lived experiences. If best is so subjective, then is it better to not have a best picture category at all? Maybe, but I'm not so sure about dismissing the best picture category entirely. While I firmly believe that film is a form of art, it also intersects with business and commerce. Our favorite films wouldn't get made without a massive amount of funding. Much like how investors initially invested in Uber because they saw an opportunity in the market, studios also invest in films that they believe have potential and that audiences would want to watch. With so many films made every year, I personally believe that the Academy Awards can be a great marketing platform for the industry to showcase and curate the best films of the season. The event itself can be a good way for audiences to narrow their list of films to watch, and the nominations for more technical awards, like sound editing or cinematography, generally help audiences learn about good filmmaking as well. But the downfall of the Academy Awards is that it leans too far into the artistic side of filmmaking, with limited consideration of the commercial side. And by that, I mean that the Academy doesn't really consider what audiences think about the best of the best in filmmaking. This is the exact reason why the Oscars viewership continues to decline. In 2021, only 10.4 million people watched the awards show, 
compared to 23.6 million people the year before. If audiences can't relate to the chosen movies, or the awards in general, then why would they continue to watch? It's perhaps easy to blame the Academy members for being insular to the film industry and not representative of what audiences want. But I don't think that's completely fair, because the Academy members are just doing what they're asked to do, which is to vote for films that they like best. And of course, they can only vote based on their own subjective experiences, which happens to be from working in the film industry. I also think that a high level of filmmaking knowledge is generally helpful in providing the artistic lens for choosing and celebrating the best filmmaking for that season. While new categories like the Twitter-powered fan favorite helps to add in audience voices to the Oscars buzz, it still separates the artistic and commercial perspectives. And it means that we never choose one film that best represents our collective taste for that year. Instead, what I think the Academy needs is a shift in the voting structure for Best Picture, which leads me to this thought starter. What if the Academy's Best Picture voting was more like Eurovision? Every year in May, around 40 European countries and Australia compete in the Eurovision Song Contest. Each country submits an original song that is performed live. After the performances, Every country submits and announces two sets of scores for the song entries. The first set comes from the country's own music professionals, and the second set comes from the country's audience. Each set consists of a ranked list of songs from 1 to 8, 10, and 12, with 12 being the most points awarded. The professional and audience scores are weighted 50-50 to determine the ultimate winner of the song contest. Bringing up Eurovision might seem odd, and completely out of the blue, especially since Eurovision is pretty much nothing like the Academy. And I'm definitely not advocating for the Academy to become more like Eurovision, but I do wonder whether applying Eurovision's mixed professional and audience voting system for Best Picture could actually improve the relatability of the Academy Awards. Let's entertain this thought a bit further. All the other categories could continue to be voted by the Academy branch members, while Best Picture, which already has a different voting system anyway, could include public ranking of the films. In this approach, Best Picture could be a 50-50 weighting of the Academy and audience ballots. Part of the excitement of Eurovision is seeing the scores announced and added to the song entries live. For Best Picture, you could do something similar, where the ranking of the films are shown as they were initially ranked within the Academy member and audience ballots. Then, the preferential ballots can be reallocated live until a film's combined Academy and audience score hits the 50% threshold of votes. This format definitely complicates an already complicated voting system for Best Picture. But a live reallocation shows a more transparent breakdown of what best really means for both the Academy members and audiences. And if the live breakdown does really show a difference between what film professionals and audiences consider to be the best, then maybe that could influence the types of stories that studios end up producing. I believe that in order for the Academy to remain relevant, they will need to maintain artistic integrity in a way that audiences can relate to. A blended Academy audience voting system isn't the only solution for making Best Picture more representative of our collective taste. But in my opinion, it's a solution that better suits the needs of the film industry, because the blend takes into account both the artistic and commercial sides of filmmaking.